Tak Guts. Welcome back to Clooney Garage. It's Fred and Frankie here. G'day, Frankie. G'day, mate. Woohoo! Well, we're back here again at Lakeville Park. Some more abuse on its way. Oh, well, after all the comments and sort of a bit of feedback we've had recently, Frankie, you are going to have to stay off that limiter. Well, I'm hearing they want us to go harder. <laughs> Righto. <laughs> all right, so, Frankie, you've got your semi slicks on, you've got your Yokohama shoes. It's about time to do the driver's briefing. Let's get there. And courtesy today of Track Day Club, huge shout out to them, and uh, let's get stuck into the action. See you soon. This looks a bit serious, Frankie. I like it. Very nice. It's like isn't it? Yeah, got 18s. Very nice. It's quite awesome. It's the M. <laughs> Very nice. I think that's Ruby, isn't it? Oh, it might be a bit of Australia's Ruby. Yeah. Hey, mate. How are you? Go for a lap in this, Frankie. What do you reckon? Big block. Oh yeah. Look at the finish on this one, Frank. Mm. Jeez, this looks all right. Maybe we should do something like that for um, uterus. Oh, I think I was thinking maybe we do that to the hind I get. With my mind. A nice variety of cars today. We've got Mandalorians, S3s. I should have bought my Audi. Keep up with the Bratwurst Brigade. Got some Mustangs. Got a few Mustangs here. And a Kia. That could be the GT version. Yeah. Interesting to see what that does. Some full slick action. Some M Power. BMWs. More BMWs. I don't know. I don't even know what that is. That is a Nissan. Nissan. Hey mate, how you going? Interesting to see how that goes. Porsche. Porsche. It's like a late model Miata. The MX-5s here That's in Australia. Very tricky. Let's have a look at that. We would love to LS the world with this thing. <laughs> you reckon this comes under a ton, Frankie? I'm not sure if you can get LS7 and be under a ton. No. You can try. Probably not. Is it right up your alley, Frankie? Simmons. Woohoo! Simmons on a Falcon. What could be better? No. This is our, uh, our garage mate, next to the, our NASCAR ute. Here she is here. We're going to go out in this and do a couple laps. Um, it's pretty capable, Frank. You've probably got more stopping power than what we've got. I think we've taken one of these before, haven't we? So I think we have, we but do it. this one might be a bit different. <laughs> Huge shout out to Funky Car Skins for all their work, work and effort on our decals. So we've got a couple of their custom decals on the car today. Frankie's still dusting things off and we always get a few bugs on the way to Wakefield, don't we Frankie? We do, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Seems we are going to... Got, got a lot worse than us, but look at that. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Yeah, from the factory now. Using mum's rag there, that's good. That's right. All right. And someone sort of said to me, Fred, where's uh, you going to wear this t-shirt and short attire? I am not. I'm going to get my race suit on in a second. Got my funky car skin, stick it up, Red Bull Racing helmet. And we're going to go get our transponder. Let's get there. It's like the big box going out. No. Production car. Taking laps out. Okay, we've got a big contingent of women drivers here today. We've got a special dedicated area. Track Day Club. Some nice looking cars here. And yeah. More exotic things turning up. The next Y. Charger. So Frankie, air pressures in these uh, these tyres are an area of contention, aren't they? We're getting lots of conflicting advice, so what are we going to do? A little bit. Well, the distributor says to, um, to try and um, up to 40 psi hot when they come in and if that's too squirmy then drop it down 5 psi and if that's not working then drop it down another 5 so i think we'll, we'll go out there with 30 cold yeah see what um we've got a hot day see what temperature we get if it's up uh, over 40 we're going to let them down to 35 and, and see how that goes for us. yeah and i think that track temperature out there will have a lot to do with it too 
and not to uh, not also to mention the weight of this car and also our, our great suspension, Frankie. That, that's right. A lot of UV today, so it's going to heat up the uh, temperature of the track and, and put that temperature into the tyre. And of course, your driving style is going to that's right. conducive to adding uh, more and more temperature. Now, the driving style has been referred to as being raw, so I don't know what that means, Frankie. But anyway, well, I'll go with raw. Raw is better than timid, like you said. That's right. All right, let's get these down to 30 cold. Let's go. All right, we're going out for our first run. We're going out in the HSV GDS. All good? All good. Well, let's do it, buddy. All right. We'll, um, let's do a couple of warm-up laps first, and then we'll get stuck into it. Stay with us. So we're the best time here of a 110. And we've got our best 112.7 today, yeah? Yes. Awesome. I'm just going to... Smaller pulley cam, uh, spacer plate on the blower, pumping out 500 rear kilowatts, so she's pretty handy. Let's go. New South Wales finest. All good. Go, Frederick. Just back from our first session here, scrubbing these tyres in. And Frankie, we experienced a bit of lipping. Yeah, well, I learned a lesson there. I had actually had the Tonya Harding yeah. General Persuader in my hands, and um, I just slipped it up a tiny bit, but obviously we've got to go to town and we do. beat on it like it's uh, Nancy. Look at this and, bits uh, of rubber, and we we got um, we had an instructor with us, and we wanted to come in and check the tyre pressures anyway, and then we we saw the state of the tyre, so we decided to come in. But we're thinking about putting the Michelins on the back and going out and have another go, Frankie, because the fronts were holding on beautifully. Yeah, well, um, let's let's stick a road tyre on the back and uh, just take it easy and get out of the corner and oh, get to the front like. Right. -o. All right, just back from our last session here, and we had to put the um, the two seven fives on because the semi slicks were rubbing. Um, and I was about to go out and got reversed back into the marshalling area here, and I just clipped an armco, so that was good fun. You can't have you can't have an episode of the track without having splitted front bars and rear bars, Frankie. So at least they're matching now. That's part of the fun, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A little bit of battle damage, so yeah. nothing that can't be repaired. So. Uh, well, now we're symmetrical. Now we've got to <laughs> roll some guards, fix some front and rear bars, that's all good. We've got plenty of work to do over summer, haven't we? We certainly do. Yeah. But Frankie, what do you reckon about the um, front tyres? More grip? Yeah, it's definitely the way to go, isn't it? These, these are chalk and cheese uh, with, with our little 19s. Yeah. So um, yeah, I was really pleased for how they went. Uh, they're pretty, look at that. Very, very sticky. And nowhere near as understeery on the front, was it? Yeah, well, it's, um, it's not making up for some decent suspension, but um, boy, oh boy, you can get those uh, apexes a little bit better and yeah. make it a little bit tidier. 
Well, good. Well, we're getting it's super hot here around Goulburn today. It's probably in the mid to late 30s, so we've probably done enough damage to the poor old ute today, including my cosmetic kiss of the arm co. So we will um, put our street tyres on and we might get ready to go home. Okay, so we made it home safely from our track day. It was a bit of a drive out to Goulburn, but we're back here. We made it in one piece, which is good. More importantly, Black Betty made it back. And that's the end of 2020 for Black Betty. Poor old thing. Performed really well today. We're really happy with it. Uh, it's got a few more battle scars on it, but that's okay. We're going to fix all that. New front bar, new rear bar is coming on. Uh, we're going to roll the guards. We saw the damage to the tyres. We're going to make sure that doesn't happen again. Huge difference. Semi-slicks on the front, bigger profile. Gave us heaps more grip. So that was all good. But uh, let's do a proper wrap-up and all the amazing things that we um, experienced today. So first of all, huge shout out to James and Yvette from um, Track Day Club. They invited us to turn up to the, uh, to the Track Day, the last one for 2020. Um, and we had an amazing time. Fantastic hospitality, great people, um, great environment. They're a very supportive, collaborative environment. Um, the way they manage the day as well, the size of the groups, the way in which it was all orchestrated, top notch, could not fault it. Um, and made us feel really, really, really welcome. Um, and just the way that the groups were managed, the paces of the car and all the rest of it, some really exotic cars out there. So obviously people feel confident enough to turn up to these days and bring their pride and joy and uh, and feel safe in doing so. So we'll definitely be bringing Clooney um, because, you know, we've got a lot of money invested in this car and it's not the sort of thing you want to take out there and have old mate in a Gemini or uh, some other high-powered car clean you up. So that's all good. Anyway, on that note, don't do it for Dale, do it for Rocky, and we'll see you in 2021 for more track days.